For now, though, the city made changes right after the first snowstorm this year, but apparently those changes were not enough to get people dug out fast enough. I don't think I've ever received more phone calls regarding any event than I did over the last 48 hours. And now it's on to operational overhaul. After last week's winter storm, city leaders agree Cleveland's snow removal operation needs to be updated again. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg tells us how they plan now to modernize things. It came, it fell, and for many Cleveland neighborhoods, the snow stuck around for far too long. I have gotten several tongue lashings from my residents. What we're saying is 72 hours for a, a large storm, um, clearing that up. One, two passes, basically, one plow, one salt. Is that good enough? It doesn't sound like it is. Cleveland's chief operating officer, Bonnie Tewin, has been on the job for about three weeks. And much of that time, she says, has been reviewing the city's snow removal plan, a plan that she says needs modernization and optimization. Does the policy meet the needs of the residents, residents and the businesses of Cleveland? And based on what we're hearing, no, it doesn't. Tewin conceded that the city's snowplow tracker may have been rolled out too early because it was often inaccurate. As for the plows themselves, an average of 10 of the 59 large plows were out of commission at various points of last week's storm. We need to find that right balance of um, how, ma how many additional vehicles, what kind of vehicles. Part of the current issues with the system is how antiquated some parts of it are. Once the plow turns attention to the residential streets, they're often given paper maps for their residential subsections that they're responsible for. They had individual pieces of paper with the maps that they're handing off. So within each subsection, there's no specified like most efficient route or anything like that, correct? Compounding the problems even further, officials say, is the fact that if a given residential street is plowed and it snows another several inches, the street is still marked as having been treated even if conditions show otherwise. We're not campaigning anymore, right? It's the reality of what's happening with the city, right? Saying things are one thing and it's grand and it's, you know, wonderful, but the reality of what's going on may be a little bit different than the ideas of it all. So what is going to be done and how much will it cost? Well, it's too early to answer both of those questions. However, this discussion is occurring just as the city council begins budget hearings later this month. In Cleveland, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5. Now, if you are still dealing with snow on your street, let us know about it. You can email, email the News 5 tip line at tips at wews.com or simply call 216-431-3700.